children our body has many parts which perform different activities for us like hands legs head eyes ears etc similarly a computer also has parts that help it to perform different functions parts of a computer a computer has four main parts monitor central processing unit cpu keyboard mouse all these parts of a computer are connected together by wires or cables to make them work as a complete system the computer system works on electricity any single part of a computer cannot work alone monitor the monitor looks like a tv it is an output device whatever we type through the keyboard appears on the monitor it displays the words typed with the keyboard on its screen we can see drawings and cartoons on the monitor we can also do calculations and see the results on the monitor it is also called vdu or visual display unit a colored monitor displays text and pictures in many colors other output devices are speakers printers projectors etc central processing unit or cpu the full form of cpu is central processing unit it is a group of units within a cabinet cpu is the most important part of a computer it is called the brain of a computer it controls all parts of a computer a cpu is tower shaped it receives data from the keyboard processes it and sends the output to the monitor a cpu has its own memory to store the information a hard disk drive stores information permanently keyboard a keyboard is an input device it looks like a typewriter it allows you to talk to the computer it is used to enter information into the computer it has many buttons on it called keys there are mostly 104 keys on a standard keyboard there are many types of keys on the keyboard some keys have numbers on them these are called number keys some keys have alphabet written on them these are called alphabet keys there are some special keys like enter key delete key cursor control keys or arrow keys etc other input devices are mouse scanner microphone etc mouse mouse is also an input device it has two or three buttons on it a wire or cable connects it to the cpu that looks like a tail as we move the mouse an arrow which is called a mouse pointer appears on the screen a mouse helps us to move the cursor on the screen and point or select any object it helps in drawing pictures it also helps in moving within the text mouse is a point and click device it can be handled better when kept on a mouse pad printer it helps you to print the work done on the computer for example letters pictures or drawings it is an output device the printout is called the output and we also call it hard copy speakers speakers are used to listen to the music and the sound played on the computer it is also an output device we get sound as output hard disk drive hard disk resides inside the cpu cabinet it is used to store programs and our work we save our work as a file on the hard disk it saves our work permanently it is also called memory of the computer cd or dvd drive our work can be stored on a cd that is compact disc or dvd digital versatile disc a cd or dvd drive helps us to read data from the disc a cd or dvd writer helps to write data on a cd or a dvd pen drive also called usb flash drive it is a very small device that can be connected to the computer to store or read data scanner 
A scanner helps us to take image input. It is like a photocopy machine. We can store an important document by storing its image as a file in the computer. Pen tablet, also called graphic tablet, it enables the user to hand draw images, animations, and graphics with a special pen called stylus. Microphone, it helps in taking audio input. We can store our voice through a microphone in the computer. Some modern computers also work on voice commands. Now you know about my body parts. Very soon I will be back and we will talk more.